Hi there! Let's go discover together the SEO Zoom Tools section. This area is divided into seven parts, but we're only going to see the first five. That is, analyze domains list, analyze keywords list, analyze URLs list, analyze ranking, and the keyword grouper. Let's start from the first, analyze domains list. By simply entering the list of domains to verify and once launched the feature, we will be able to acquire the following values for each entered domain. The Zoom Authority and the three metrics it is made of, so the Zoom Trust, Stability and Opportunity. We can also find the site trend, that is a preview that helps us figure out if the website is growing, dropping or if it's stable. If the entered site has been listed inside SEO Zoom database for some time now, we can see the history of Zoom Authority detection over the past months. Lastly, we have the monthly estimated value and the total number of keywords the site is currently ranking with inside the first 10 Google pages. As always, the tabs can be sorted, so to immediately find the most useful data. Analyze Domains List is a very useful tool that can help you take a quick look to an entire list of websites altogether, so to get the potentials and opportunities of each one of them. A very similar structure can also be appreciated for the Analyze Keywords List feature. Like we did before, let's type inside the box all of the keywords we would like to analyze. Once launched the analysis, you will find in the Keyword Info box all of the data regarding the monthly volume of each single keyword, the keyword difficulty that indicates the actual level of difficulty to rank this specific key, the average CPC and competition, the total number of indexed results for that term alongside seasonality data and our ever-present contextual menu to further broaden our analysis and data. Within the competitor info box instead, you can find a list of the main competitors on the analyzed keywords. SEO Zoom will show you for each one of them on how many keywords the website is actually present and what is their volume in competition. The volume in competition value is the sum of the volumes of all the single keywords in common. For that, it is not considered the ranking in SERP but rather the maximum volume these keywords in common could intercept. In the end, we also have the site traffic and its Zoom authority, together with a very useful button to immediately add the specific domain as competitor to one of our projects, if we think, for example, that monitoring its strategies will be a good idea. But let's move to the next section, Analyze URLs list. Same structure, three different ways to use it. In fact, you can simply type in or copy paste in the box all of the different URLs you're interested in, or choose to proceed with one of the two buttons at the bottom here. The first one, starting from a domain, allows you to extract all of the latest ranked URLs for that specific site. While the second button, starting from a keyword, allows you to extract up to 100 of the best ranking URLs referring to that key. From here, once launched the analysis and with the result list ready, in the first site tab we have the list of the URLs, the page zoom authority, so the value that is defined by SEO zoom with respect to the authority of the single page, which I remind you goes from 0 to 100 and help us understand the amount of keywords steadily positioned, the growth perspective of these pages, and so on. We then have precisely the amount of keywords positioned for the web page the estimated monthly traffic of the individual page and the potential traffic, calculated by estimating the traffic that could also come from the keywords position on the second and third Google pages, and, as always, our context menu. In the tab on the right, we are presented with the same real-time SEO analysis also available inside the Editorial Assistant or the Pages section in the project area. So, we can immediately access the first information about the performance of the page over time, 
the possible variation of the month, its estimated traffic, the amount of keywords in top 10, potential, distant, and then the more detailed analysis that we are very familiar with by now. Here, we can find the list of all the keywords with their ranking, variation from previous scan, the metrics of keyword difficulty and opportunity, again, a contextual menu, in this case related to the single keyword, and then we can continue delving more into the values offered by the previous chart in the following tables, namely the keywords in top 10, the potential keyword, so the keywords on the second and third Google pages, which with the smallest effort on our part, could bring us even better results. And the keywords that are very far from the top 10, on which we are actually not yet positioned very well. Another very interesting table, present if there is data, of course, is the tab of similar pages. From here, for each placed page, we also have a list of what are the similar pages, by topic, of that same website, which can contain a number of related keywords and give us further insights for work and strategy. Lastly, here we have the real-time SEO analysis, where the main keyword of the page is identified by default on the basis of all the keywords the web page is ranking with, of course, we can also change it by clicking on Change Keyword, and with which the tool proceeds to perform all the checks related to the intent match to indeed understand if this page is already more or less optimized for the keyword. We are then offered the list of the main optimizations, the topics that have been or have not been covered by the content, the keywords currently ranking, and exactly within the screen, we're also told whether or not the various keywords have been included within the text being analyzed and in those of the competitors in SERP. In the end, we find the whole part dedicated to the user's most frequently asked questions about the topic and the part dedicated to related in-depth topics. Analyze Ranking is the tool that allows us to analyze a set of domains against a set of keywords. So, after entering a set of domains and keywords to be checked, according to the limits in the table, of course, we go to click on Analyze. In this case, here we see the list of keywords we entered, the search volume for each keyword, and the two sites under Analysis. For each of these, we can see how it ranks for the keywords we are interested in delving into and with which URLs, specifically. So we can make a direct comparison between several websites at once, starting with a set of specific keywords. Quick and accurate. Now, last but not least, let's take a look at the Keyword Grouper tool. This feature allows us to cross-reference some data starting from a list of keywords. A keyword grouping is a small targeted list of words semantically correlated that can be used to lead your marketing and research strategies, both organic and paid ones. Keyword Grouper lets you manage in a quick and effective way hundreds of keywords and group of keywords, so to better develop your SEO optimization activity, maybe involving your text or even your site structure. If you don't already have a pre-made list of keywords, an idea could be to start from the analysis of a keyword, then reaching the Search Intent tab, which we know is the table that allows us to see all the keywords included in the Search Intent of the term we are analyzing. Here, we retrieve the list in its entirety by clicking on this little button that allows us to copy the keywords to clipboard, and then go back into the Keyword Grouper to paste in the entire list and click on Analyze. After launching the analysis, we see that all of the keywords we entered in the tool have been grouped by similar terms. So all of the keywords containing the term best or how, or again, recipes and so on. Where we can also decide to eliminate the sets that we are not interested in or simply do not deem suitable for our analysis. By clicking on each term, we access the sublist of keywords containing the search term, including their average monthly search volume and all the other data we already know and love. <laughs> 
This feature could be useful to us, for instance, when writing content, if we need an idea perhaps on how to group within the different paragraphs, keywords pertaining to that specific paragraph, or can come in handy when working on the structure of a website, perhaps to be used in combo with our site builder. Isn't it a precious toolbox for our SEO activities? Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.